today i'm going to show you how to create a responsive grid view in asp.net so first of all i'm creating a new project now now i'm adding a new web form i have added bootstrap link bootstrap cdn link okay you can use this cdn link or you can uh link the bootstrap css file okay now go to the toolbox double click on grid view now add sql data source go to design now configure our sql data source enter your server name in my case dot select database file database name check the condition next next select the table name next check it yes it's working finish now let's select the data source for the grid view let's give some properties to this grid view If you want to allow sorting, you can make it true. It will sort data according to uh, the column name. Okay, according to the column name. make it render align center now let's run and see you can see your that uh, grid view was the grid view looked like this if you click on this column it will sort a uh, based on the column id and this will sort according to the column name uh, the product name and it will sort according to the price if you enable the sorting okay now now i am adding bootstrap classes in this field class is equals to container now i am adding a css class in grid view
we have to use table table class of bootstrap save and refresh our page now you can see the difference before using the bootstrap and after using the bootstrap now let's make it more attractive now i am giving table border now you can see the the light shade on border has came okay now you can uh, give the hover effect on table just by adding the class table hover now you can see the hover effect on table okay you can make it a uh, responsive by adding one more class that is table responsive can see the table is now responsive as you resize the screen it will automatically resize itself okay you can give the some attractive headers also so let's give let's add some property for the header also i am giving the header or enter a line center so that the headers uh, it should be in center okay now um, in source code here we have to give css class we are going to give the class table and the table dark class we have to give you so that the dark color should be uh, going to appear okay so we have to run it again so you can see the dark header display here now you can change the header uh color also can give primary it's uh, will be it will be in blue color like this way you can change uh, the header color as as you want i 
आई होप दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग